they already have the money. But God doesn't even give a damn. Because what's for you isn't going to belong to anybody else. What's for you isn't going to belong to anybody else. What's yours is going to be yours. It's not going to be shared with anyone. It's not going to be distributed to anybody. Nobody can take it from you. It's not going to be anything that can be ruined. It may be delayed. You may be held back from it or kept back from it momentarily. But what's for you is most definitely for you without a doubt. All right, what's for you is most definitely for you without a doubt. Other people may think they can have it or take it, but they can't. Because it's, all, it's already been prophesied, it's already been set in stone for you to be who you are, for you to have what you're destined for. And you're destined for great things. Because all the people that you come across that already have everything that you need or already have everything that you want, you're going to be in position to do the same thing for yourself. I don't care if those people had $90,000. I don't care if they had $90,000 in the bank account. I don't care if they had $90,000. I don't care if they had a gajillion dollars. You're gonna have that plus more. It's gonna be that plus a greater amount, a larger amount. It's, just, it's gonna be a blessing on blessing type of ordeal to where you see the BS you may even have to experience some of it, but it's going to be never ending blessings that keep coming into your life as long as you see, choose to see it that way. You can't give in to the ills. You can't give in to the negativity. You can't give in to what other people want for you or what they want you to see. You have to see it for yourself. You don't need anyone's support. You don't need any particular person to be there or be around. What's for you is going to make its way to your pockets, your bank account, your life, your hands, regardless. All right? God doesn't care what they already have. They can already have what you desire. They could already have what it is you're working towards. They could already have what it is you're trying to achieve or do for yourself. They could already be there. Good for them. If they're already there, that's a positive thing. If they're already there, if they're already wealthy, already healthy, already in a position you desire to be in for yourself, or a position that you see yourself in. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. All right. That is more than okay for them to be ahead, for them to have what it is you're trying to do for yourself. It's even okay for them to let you know that, hey, you don't have this, and I do. All of that is okay. Because if you don't give up, if you don't give up and if you keep pressing toward the mark, that mark that you set for yourself, everybody sets a mark for themselves. We hear people say press towards the mark, but one has to ask themselves, what is that mark? What is that mark that I'm pressing towards? Am I just pressing on or am I pressing in a direction? Because you, you, be, you, you could be going. You, you could be, be like the Energizer Bunny. You could just keep going and going and going and going until you're gone. But in order to want to get somewhere, 
It has to be a strategy. There has to be planning in place. There has to be a certain way you do things. All right, and you can't veer away from that plan. You can't veer off that strategy. You gotta stay on point. That's what they say, you know, when they when they talk about sticking to the script. All right, you got you gotta stick to the script, baby, because if you don't, then you won't end up getting to where it is you want to go to. You won't end up reaching your mark. You'll just be pressing and going nowhere or pressing and just going which will and, and if you're just going but you're not going where you want to go where are you really going you're headed nowhere fast you could even be successful and be headed nowhere fast you could even have all the money and cars and jewels and riches and everything and be headed nowhere fast all by your choices all by the direction you choose to take all by what you choose to do so if, if you choose to go nowhere fast that's up to you but if you choose to go somewhere and plan and prepare and strategize that's also up to you you can plan you can prepare you can strategize for whatever it is you want in your life if other people already are there good for them you don't give a rat's tail what they have all right you're, you're not concerned I, I, you're not concerned about what it is they've got all right the, the, these creative alternatives to cursing are way more fun you know it's, it's cool to curse and everything but curses are played out you know curses are played out you know it's, it's cool for in a, a heated moment but you know it's played out that way, when people actually hear you do it, it will actually have the intended effect. But if you hear just somebody just using this and using that and saying this and, and shizzy this and shizzy that, what, 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 are you, what are you really accomplishing with all that shizzy going on there? All right? You're not accomplishing much. You're just a, 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 a shizzy mouth. Just, you're just a, a, a person with a shizzy mouth. All right? So to avoid being a person with a shizzy mouth, right? Your thoughts have to be headed in the right direction. Your mind has to be headed in the right direction. Your money, cha-ching, dollar dollar bill, y'all, gotta be headed in the right direction, which means there needs to be some investments taking place. You investing in yourself, your time. You investing in your mind, self-improving, self-educating, realizing what you need to know taking the time to learn it so you can earn it success is very important for people who have enemies it's the best and only way to truly defeat them it's the best and only way to truly defeat anyone and anything in your way because God doesn't give a damn about what they've got he blessed them and he's gonna bless you too Anybody that's blessed already is ungrateful and unaware of what a true blessing is if they have to take it and measure themselves against the success of another. Anybody that tries to take your success and measure it up against theirs, that person is already defeated. That person is already lost coming up against you and they don't realize it because they have more than you possibly or they feel they're better than you or it's it's something that they're using to put themselves above you it could just be the fact that the way they view themselves they could view you as a different type of person than who they are and they could see that as a weakness instead of a strength so if this person is viewing you from the standpoint of weakness, then there could be some BS that you have to deal with initially when interacting with certain people. But you have to you have to cut that off and 
you gotta stop that. And as soon as you as soon as you stop people from doing that, you let people know, like, hey, look, um, yeah, but no. A message is gonna be sent to them, and they're they're they're, they're, they're gonna get the point, you know. They're gonna get the point, like, okay, it's not gonna work with this one. It ain't gonna work. And pe people could think whatever they want. You know, looks can be deceiving. Things can be deceiving. It's up to you. It's up to you and what you choose to do, how you choose to present yourself, and also how you see yourself. If you don't like how you see yourself, you can change. Somebody has something that you know you're worthy of, you don't have it, don't know how to get it, see yourself as the one who has it. A lot of us, we see certain things, right? Or we want certain things. And we end up seeing a whole bunch of other people with it. When you want something, but you don't see yourself with it, what the universe is going to do until you wake up and realize that, you know what, I can also have this. It's going to show you everybody else with it. Because your reticular activating system, your mind, right, is going to show you everybody else with what you want because you want it. Your mind is going to be subconsciously aware of everybody else who has it. But the thing is, until you see yourself with it, like all those other people did in some way, shape, or form, when, when you see it for yourself, when you see it as a possibility for yourself, then guess what? That's when it'll land in your space, in your face, in your hand. It'll be in your life before you know it. All right, accept it for yourself and don't just see it in other people's lives. Don't just see it in general. See it in your life. See it for yourself. That's how you make it real for you. And if you make it real for you, it's going to become your reality. And that's how you do it. That's exactly how you do it. So this person already has success, they already have wealth, they already have money, and they think you think like they do. They want to belittle you. They want to make you feel small because of what they have. What they Because of what they have, because of what they're able to do. They may have more than you, they may be able to do more than you. They may, their parents may be one that is more aesthetically pleasing than yours right now. All this stuff is done to make you stop. To make you think you're not good enough. To make you feel you can't have it. When you probably deserve it more than the person who already has it. Especially if they're abusing it and misusing it. And it takes time for everybody to wake up to certain levels of consciousness. But just because someone has something and you don't, doesn't mean you have to bow down and worship them as a god. You don't have to treat them better than you do yourself. You don't treat anybody better than you do yourself. You make yourself the number one priority in your life doesn't matter if somebody has a golden chariot, a golden carriage, golden horse and carriage, golden chariot, there we go. Doesn't matter if they got a golden chariot, if it ain't Ezekiel, <laughs> you know, if it, if it, ain't, if it ain't one of the one of them heavenly folks, one of them heavenly bodies calling you up, what are you concerned for? Hey, join us in our, our golden glow and ambient abundance. You know, if they just coming down to shine on you and hover over you, they not even watching you, blessing you. What do you care for? You just man, look, look at them freaks up there, Shot, just just trying to shine on me and, and, and make me think I can't shine brighter or as bright. But people will do that when they see that you have something that they want, or you're the true better individual. And it's a shame to have to look at it that way. 
but people are letting you know you're better than them subconsciously all the time. So what you don't do is make that a problem. That's what you don't do. You don't focus on that to the point to where they're always doing this, they're always doing that. It's not how we roll, all right? What you do is you take that and you say, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm really that person. I'm, I'm really that individual from a humble standpoint. Not to, to make you into the same person that they are because it's just going to be a competition at that point. You think you're better than them. They think they're better than you. And no one wants that or needs that. Shut up. Shut up. No one wants that or needs that. Had to talk over that ad real quick. So, no one needs two people. I mean, you really don't need to be competing with anyone when it comes to you doing your own thing and staying in your own lane. You stay in your own lane, you focus on yourself. You, you get things done so you don't have to worry about it. You don't even have to worry about yourself. You just focus on yourself. Just eliminate that worry altogether. Worry comes from procrastinating or making something too big or thinking that you're incapable. That's where worry comes from. Thinking you can't do something. Thinking something's not going to work out. Creating anxiety with unwanted, unnecessary, intrusive thoughts bound to, to cause destruction if they're not dealt with and removed. Alright? That's why you have to get away from people who want to try to condition you or control you or program you for failure with their success. They want to take your mind and how you feel about yourself and look at yourself and diminish it because of what they have or what they're capable of doing. They, they feel that because they have something that people desire or want that other people are supposed to look at them like they're God. That's narcissism. That is nuts. I'm not wanting to become rich so other people will look at me like I'm better than them. I want other people to look at me like I'm the best version of my damn self. I want people to look at me and be like, yo, this new Drew? Whew, better than that old one. Look at what he's done. Look at how he's changed. Look at the person he is now. That's what you want people to say about you when you become better. You don't need other people's phony admiration because they want something. Let's keep it real here. Most people just hang, and it saddens me when I look at famous, successful people. I question myself. I'm like, yo, how many of them people they got around them are really real? Because when you have people who grow up in, in when you have people who grow up in poverty and impoverished areas like the hood, all they have is shut up. All they have is each other. They got money now. They always had money, but they didn't want you to think that. But in majority of those situations, when you have villages, because we can't say they're always in poverty, they want to send that idea out there. But there's always been people in impoverished areas who prospered ideas, coming up with inventions. You know, you got um, Madam C.J. Walker, first black female millionaire came up with a hair care product you know she was probably told that she'd be poor her life but she didn't accept it other people who have more than you probably will tell you you'll never be anything probably will tell you that you're struggling or you'll never get anywhere in life don't agree with them you don't have to agree with someone because of what they say it may be true you may even feel it's true don't agree with them. 
They may say something and they may even hit you where it hurts. Ooh, I felt that. This person just said something that has to do with my situation and now I'm starting to feel bad about myself. Don't. Tear up that invitation, burn it, incinerate it. Turn it into smithereens. Don't allow yourself to be invited to feel any kind of way that you don't want to. It's your mind. You control what goes in and what goes out. Not somebody in their negative nuances. Kept trying to cast spells on you for failure instead of prosperity because they see you want to be successful, but without them. That's the whole issue here. When people already present something to you like they already have it, they want you to kiss the ring. Bow, they want you to get on one knee and, and kiss the ring and bow down and worship the ground they walk on. God bless them. He's going to bless you. And that's what he shows you those people for. But the thing is, that's what the universe shows you those people for. If you're running into certain types of people, you have to work on yourself and see how you're treating yourself. People can only treat you bad if you treat yourself bad first. People can only put you down for things if you put your down if you put yourself down about it first. When other people make any kind of gesture, comment, any type of joke, any type of clowning or belittling or put downs. Shut up, shut up, shut up. You have to be the one that rejects that. Why accept something that's going to hurt you? Wow, they said that about me. I'm going to accept this as true. No. That's not true. That's that person's opinion. They have the right to feel the way they want. I have the right to look at myself through the eyes of God and keep winning and keep succeeding. Keep succeeding. Keep dreaming. Uh, uh, keep allowing uh, blessings to flow into my life. When you have an attitude and a mindset for success, it's going to come to you in ways that are past your finding out. How are you going through life despite your circumstances? Is your, is your attitude one that is going to keep you stuck because you, you think and feel that it's never going to change? Or is your attitude one to where it's leading you into the direction you want to go because you know that change is a possible factor in your situation? You know, this is why experiments are important. People hypothesize. They have the truth and they have outliers. Those are factors. I, I believe I could be wrong, but those are factors that could possibly change the result of the experiment. All right. If I'm wrong, please forgive me and my ignorance. But if I'm correct, put some applaud, put some applaud, uh, some claps in the comment section. Or hit me up with a super thanks. Or if you enjoy my con my content, send a donation. All right, my PayPal is open and, and working, and my Cash App is open and most definitely working. All right, so so these pockets aren't hurting. Support, all right, support your your main man Drew too, and bless this channel. All right, because they want us to feel that we'll never get to where we want to go. Because they're already there. It's like they've won in life, broke the ribbon, popped some champagne, probably by themselves. I ain't, I ain't hating on them. And they went to turn around and root everybody in the crowd like, okay, we get it. <laughs> you won. But then there's that one person. They don't care if people even recognize they won or not. And everybody's like, yo, they finally made it. <sighs> Not that you need that, but you already know who that is. Y-O-U. Caught it that time. But don't, don't be discouraged. You have the power to be 
what you want. You have the power to be who you want. You have the power to be whatever you want. And because other people are there already, because they've won already in life, they don't want anybody else to think that they can win. And because you're not there, they want to make it seem like it's going to take so long. Like, making money is easy. Being rich is easy. The hardest part is actually conceptualizing it and uprooting uprooting all the negative thinking and renewing your mind. That's the hardest part for people. Becoming rich is easy. The hardest part is accepting it for yourself, that it can happen for you, that you can live in that quarter whatever home that you can live in that area you can drive that car you can have that career you can live the life you always wanted there are people who want to do things they're just not seeing it for themselves gotta program your mind for what you want unfortunately there are people who see that we have potential and they're trying to program you if you don't program you other people will they'll use witchcraft on you with trinkets and and visions and objects and materiality resources they'll rub things in your face dangle things on a string in front of you Oh, they love doing that. They love treating you like a like a dog. Or like a pet. Incinerate that invite. It's not how we get down over here. It's not our kind of party. It's not our our idea of a good time of a good time. So they already had it. Good for them. They're already successful. Good for them. They already had the house, the car, the money. Good for them. Now, what are you going to do about that? Are you going to allow that to stop you from getting what you want? Just because someone else already has it. You know what? Wow. Psh, they beat me in life. They're already successful. Oh, my God. I'm never going to try now. I'm just going to quit and give up. I rebuke that. To hell with that. All right. I, I send fire down from heaven on that. Because it's unnecessary for you to think that just because someone else already won. You lost. Or you're, or you're never going to win. That's a person who had. That's a person who is closed minded to the success of other people. They won. Nobody else need to win. That's it. People like that enjoy holding other people back. People like that enjoy the fact that it feels like they're winning and you're not. You don't have to prove nothing to them. Don't go back and try to let them know you're getting it too. Don't try to keep up with the Joneses. Oh, they can get that. Or I'm going to get that. I'll show them. No need for that. The reason why people who have more than you materialistically want to flex on you is because of your divine inheritance. They sense that wealth on you. They just don't know how. They sense the riches. They just don't know how. They sense the wealth. They sense the prosperity. They just don't know how. But it's not physical. It's metaphysical. You have treasure stored up in heaven where moth and dust does not corrupt. You're rich forever with thought processes, ideas, concepts, inventions. You can do whatever you put your mind to. So if somebody has a certain amount of money, don't let that discourage you. You can have that plus more. You can have whatever amount of money your heart desires. You can have whatever amount of money you put your mind on. Don't let broke people with, with, who lack 
abundance conscious or money consciousness or don't let people who are ahead of you that lack abundance consciousness thinking that no nobody else deserves it but them don't let those people deter you or discourage you from nothing some people like the idea of being more powerful than other people and they don't want other kings to get on the throne they want to be on the throne and then everybody else take a knee they don't want to see a whole bunch of other kings pick their crown up and put it on their head not everybody's like that but God doesn't give a damn because that's what he wants and his vision and his plan that he puts in each and every one of us is going to be carried out anyway regardless of what the enemy wants regardless of what the enemy wants. That's why what he has for you, is it doesn't belong to anybody else. They'll never get it. Thank you for watching this video. Smash that like button, smash that share button. I'll see you in the next one.